Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Easy Cream. In today's video, we will be learning how to introduce yourself in Korean. So, introducing yourself in Korean, we say 자기소개 as written on the screen. 자기소개 mm. So, this video will be divided into three parts. First, I will be reading through what I've written. Um, I'll be reading three times each for each sentence. And then in the second part, I will be explaining about the grammars. And then in the third one, I will show you how I've written all the sentences. Mm. So I, I hope you'll find it useful. And let's begin! 안녕하세요. 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 반갑습니다. 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 저의 이름은 이지 크레인입니다. 저의 이름은 이지 크레인입니다. 저의 이름은 이지 크레인입니다. 저는 29살입니다. 저는 29살입니다. 저는 29살입니다. 저는 직장인입니다. 저는 직장인입니다. 저는 직장인입니다. 저는 한국에 살고 있어요. 저는 한국에 살고 있어요. 저는 한국에 살고 있어요. 저의 MBTI는 ESFJ입니다. 저의 MBTI는 ESFJ입니다. 저의 MBTI는 ESFJ입니다. 저의 취미는 산책입니다. 저의 취미는 산책입니다. 저의 취미는 산책입니다. 저는 코끼리를 좋아해요. 저는 코끼리를 좋아해요. 저는 코끼리를 좋아해요. 저는 요즘 한국어를 배우고 있어요. 저는 요즘 한국어를 배우고 있어요. 저는 요즘 한국어를 배우고 있어요. 한국어는 쉽고 재미있어요. 한국어는 쉽고 재미있어요. 한국어는 쉽고 재미있어요. 우리 친하게 지내요. 우리 친하게 지내요. 우리 친하게 지내요. 잘 부탁드립니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. 안녕. 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 Okay, so this is the second part uh, explaining about the grammar. 자기 means self and 소개 is um, introducing. So self-introduction is what we're going to be learning today. Okay, so 안녕하세요 is pretty much like, you know, I'm sure everyone knows it, right? 안녕하세요. You can also say 안녕 to a friend if it's just casual, but you know, we've got, you know, how Koreans respect their elders. Mm. So this is how we say it usually. 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. Or you can also say 반가워 to a friend if, you know, if it's, if it has been a long time no see. Mm. Uh, 저의 이름은 입니다. Mm, mm, 입니다 mm, is. It means is. Mm -hmm. 저의 이름은 이지 크린입니다. 저는 29살입니다. So, uh, this is age. We're talking about an age. And we have two ways of counting numbers. Mm. So, this is the sign o number counting. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty old. <laughs> 29. So, um, yeah, yes. So, we will be discussing this and learning this later on. Mm. 저는 직장인입니다. So, it means I am. Uh, 직장인 it means someone who works in a company. Mm. So, if you are a freelancer, you can just say, 저는 프리랜서입니다. Or if you are a student, 
저는 학생입니다. So I'm just write 학생 over here. 아, ah, the good life of being a student, right? Enjoy it while you're being a student. Okay, next one. 저는, so I am 한국 in, in Korea. 에, in, 살고 있어요. I am living. Mm. So currently I live in Korea. Mm. If you live in, um, I don't know, Thailand, then you can say 저는 태국에 살고 있어요. Oh, if you live in Africa, 저는 아프리카에 살고 있어요. Or you can also write, you know, the city where you live in. Doesn't matter if whether it's a country, a city, a town. Hmm? Next, 저의 MBTI는 ESFJ입니다. So why did I write this? Um, I wanted to write a sentence to describe your personality. And these days in Korea, it's it's a big thing. Like MBTI is a big thing. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like one of the popular ways to describe yourself and I think it's pretty, you know, it's accurate. Uh, MBTI, this test has been, it's, it's existed for a very long time and I believe it's really, you know, accountable. And for me, it's, this is what I, um, this is me. So you can just write whoever, you know, your, whatever your MBTI is. You can just Google it up and just take, uh, a, I don't think it's a quick test. It took a couple of maybe 20 to 30 minutes for me mm. um, but then again you know personality it changes from time to time and you know what cert circumstances you're under so this is the usual me but when it comes to me working it's different as well yeah uh, so just bear in mind that Koreans are all about MBTI these days and there's a cool way of also um, introducing instead of just reading it out loud like this in English ESFJ we kind of read it as if it's a word so uh, you can say this S will be silent so FJ yeah 저의 취미는 취미 means hobby 산책입니다. So this is just a word which is going out for a walk. Hmm. Uh, if you let's say you like to um, watch Netflix, okay, then you can say 저의 취미는 um, Netflix 시청. 시청 means watching, right? So this is. I'll just put like this Netflix. 저의 취미는 넷플릭스 시청입니다. Next one. 저는 코끼리를 좋아해요. <laughs> yes, I'm all about elephants these days. I always watch videos related to um, baby elephants and they're so cute and adorable. So let me explain the grammar. I know this is quite confusing for some, but it's actually, it's pretty simple. So basically, uh, so we're going to learn about um, or okay? So let's say you have a noun and I'm going to put 강아지. Since this is a consonant, right? Consonant, vowel, consonant. <clears throat> and we don't have anything underneath this last word. Right? It's just a consonant and a vowel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use do. Um, another example. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to write an example. Mm, I like a cell phone. So, if you have a look at this, this last word, it has an underneath consonant. Do you see this one over here? Uh, because of this underneath consonant, right? It's a consonant. And therefore, it's going to be used as hmm. This is the simple way to understand. If it's just consonant and a vowel only, 
then you use ru. If it's a consonant, vowel, and you have another consonant, then it's u. Easy peasy, right? Hmm. All right. So next one. 저는 요즘 I 요즘 means these days. 한국어 Korean. Remember we, we what we just learned just now, right? Consonant, vowel only. Then we use 를 배우고 있어요. 한국어. This is the Korean language. 는 쉽고. So this means and. Easy and fun. Mm. So um, I believe that you know words have power. So keep you know telling yourself whatever is you know is difficult for you. Just keep saying, "Oh, this is easy. Oh, this is super easy. Oh, this is really fun." So if you keep telling yourself that and you believe it, then it does get easier. It does get more fun. Mm. So that's why I've named my channel. Easy Korean, haha. <laughs> Last but not least, 우리 친하게 지내요. Let's be friends. Uh, but friends in Korean, it's actually 친구. But you don't see the word 친구 here, right? So this is just like a really natural way of translating. It means pretty much like, oh, you know, let let's be let's be in good terms. But we don't usually say that in English. So I've written, let's be friends. Hmm. Uh, you might have you might have noticed uri comes often like you know uri means us and koreans really love using this word uri okay chai means good uh, so i haven't um, i didn't write what it is in english because it's quite difficult to translate it there is no sentence that really like completely translates its whole meaning we use it in many circumstances and let's say you know end of an introduction you can also say oh uh, let's be, let's be in good terms like almost similar to the sentence mm. if it's your first time meeting someone then you can you know you can say this if it's your first day out of school first day out of work mm, first day with anything you can just also say um, and then, lastly, I've written the casual way of saying hello and goodbye. 안녕. So, uh, I'm sure it's very famous, but, you know, same thing. Hello, 안녕. Goodbye, 안녕. Alright.